what is going on guys today we are back today you can kind of tell I'm in a different spot I'm actually at school in the photography studio it's the old stage but I came up here to do this video because I have lights which I think make it look a lot better and I also if you can tell by the title all my kendamas are in this bag that I've ever owned in the I think it's been three years that I've been playing I'm gonna go through them all I'm gonna explain a little bit about them and I kind of just want to do like my kendama collection as of like the beginning of 2020 and then I want to see at the end of the year what I've acquired and kind of what my collection looks like. I think it'd be a cool video. I've seen one guy do it, so I thought I'd give it a shot. So let's move this camera angle around. Let's get a table in here. Hopefully I can find one up here that I can use and uh, hopefully get a nice solid video. All right, I think I got a really good setup going here. Um, my camera still looks on level and I don't know why it says it's level. Maybe it's jittered, I don't know. But I filled up this bag. I have, uh, in my room, I have like a shelf where I keep all the ones that I am jamming. And then in my drawer, I have a basket of all the ones that I've kind of worn in and don't really use that much. So I think this is just gonna be like a pick it out, explain it, and then set it off to the side. So I don't really know how many there is that I have. So first one, uh, my Sweets Kendama's Target Mod, which um, I got when we went down to Florida. Uh, if you guys remember when I was making daily videos, I haven't really jammed it that much because the paint on it isn't that well. But all around, I'm still stoked that I was able to get one of these because you can't or you can't order them from Sweets. You have to buy them at Target. But it's got a good thing, uh, string length to it, and I've sashed it a little bit. I might get back into doing it a little bit more because it is a pretty sick dama. But yeah, first one. Kind of just a look at the draw. So here's my mini, my micro, whatever it's called. Um, I got this thing when I ordered, I think it was like over $100 on sweets. It's kind of fun to mess around with, hurts your brain because tricks are ridiculously hard, but it is pretty cool. It's a nice little thing that sweets throws in there after you spend over a certain amount. It's a cool thing to add to the collection. This one, this one has a story to it. So this Kendama was the uh, sweets. It was some special one. They had a whole bunch of different colors in the half split. Um, this was the Kendama that I bought for 28 tricks later in February of last year. Um, I, sashed the shit, I sashed the shit out of it. I broke the Serato. The Tom is completely broken in. It was a ton of fun to jam. And um, this Kendama will always have a place in my heart because of what I've done to it. I also drilled out a bounce hole in it. Um, but this Kendama will always have a place in my heart because it was in January when my grandpa had passed away. So we had done a whole bunch of stuff in February. So throughout that, of doing stuff for him and uh, for his funeral and stuff, I was jamming this Kendama. So it will forever hold a valuable place in my heart. So the next one we have is, so this was one of, I think it was like the first, or, I know that the first one that I bought from Sweets was my Willie P mod, which is in here. But this is one of the second ones that I bought and I completely destroyed it, um, like destroyed the Ken. This is a new Ash Sweets Prime Ken, but the Tama and the bevels completely like honed and it's really good for stall tricks. That's basically what I only use this one for and I don't do a whole lot of stall tricks. But this one's pretty dope. Uh, Cooper Eddy Pro model with a Sweets Prime Ash Ken. Ah, this one. Okay, so this one is a, I don't know the name of it, but I know it's a KUSA, uh, there's Shift and Slim. So this is a KUSA Slim. Um, it's one of their K's and I got this in a mystery box. The video, I'll try to remember to put it in the cards or in the description, but I jammed this one a lot. It was one of the ones that I liked the most out of the mystery box. Uh, I think the other two are in here, or maybe just one of them is, but this one I haven't really played that much. I played it for a while. The bevel is pretty honed in, but I mean, it was fun. I didn't learn a whole bunch of tricks with this. I'm pretty sure after I did this, I did end up getting another one, so I didn't break this one in as much, but it's still pretty cool. It's nice to bounce between sweets and KUSA all the time. <laughs> so <laughs> this one is a... Birch Craft Tama on a Sweets Prime Ken. So the Tama that this was at this Kendama actually came with, I didn't like because there was like, it was basically glossy paint, like it wasn't nice at all. And I was bored, so I thought I'd lace up something that I might be able to have fun with since I actually chipped the Craft Ken. So this is kind of what I came up with. I haven't played it a whole lot, but I'm hoping to get into it because I do want to try and learn how to play Natty. But hopefully I can get into doing this. I ordered a bunch of string as well, so hopefully I'll be able to string this up with a lot longer string since I think what's on here is like only two fingers. But hopefully I'll start playing with this a lot more. Ah, my Reed Stark Safari Pro model. So I, there's a whole blip that I talked about on my Instagram. Reed Stark was actually the guy who got me into playing Kendama. 
and at the last Joyride Jam, I actually got him to sign it. So I jammed this one a lot. I liked that the around the big the cups and the uh, handle stalls, it was. Uh, like Ken burned and like a safari print so it honed in stalls really well and that's what I loved about it But it's kind of broken into the point where I especially that I got him to sign it. I don't want to play it much more um, But it's been fun and it was a very Exciting time to meet Reed, but I don't know if I'll play this one anymore I might go on a shelf in a box and kind of just sit there because I'm so stoked that he signed it But it did play really well when I had it and I'm stoked that I was able to meet Reed and get him to sign it Shit Ah, I'm gonna lose Maki. So this one was very limited. Uh, I was actually at work on my computer, hotspotting myself, waiting for this to drop at five o'clock because I wanted it so bad. Um, Maple Tama, Maple Ken, this thing's broken in really well. The only thing I don't like is that it's sticky paint, same with the Reed mod. It's fun to play with, it came with a really long string and I really like the tracking of it. The only thing that I don't like is like, I know that Luzumaki's design is these swirls, but playing Kendama, they get in my way a lot and they mess up my tracking with the bevel, but it's a sick Dama. I know that they have a blue one out now, so I might cop that. I'm not sure if they have it in cushion, but no, I'm hoping to play this one more. I kind of bounce around between all of them, but it's cool that I'm doing this video because I'm actually seeing all the ones that I don't touch that often anymore. Oh, I remember this. So this is a cushion cleared sweets homegrown that I actually ordered as a mystery. So sweets had mystery homegrowns on their site for cheaper than what an actual homegrown was. And they only had one homegrown that was like $100 that was left. So I was like, fuck it, I'll spend the $80 on a mystery one and this is what I got. So it's it's broken in really well. The only thing I don't like is that there's no tracking to it. So you kind of just got to know where the bevel is. But the cups are a little bit smaller. Uh, I did drill out a bounce hole. I might actually start playing this one a little bit more because I did like how it's like handcrafted and handmade. So I might start playing it a little bit more. It's just hard because of the tracking. So I might paint it myself. I'm not sure yet, but... Really good Kendama. I'm really stoked that every time someone buys one of these sweets also plants a tree, so that is really cool. Oh, so this is um, Kendama USA Craft Granite, I think is the name of it. Craft Kendama Shift Shape. Uh, I'm really stoked with this because it is silk paint, which is basically Kendama USA's of a cushion clear of sweets's, wait. It's silk, which is Kendama USA's equivalent to Sweets' cushion. That's what I meant to say. I like that it's a half split. Same with the, um, whatever this one was. I don't remember what it was called that I used for 28 tricks later in February, but it's broken in really well. Uh, the only complaint that I have is that I guess from bouncing between company to company, the Ken shape's a little bit different, so it's hard for me to get used to it. Um, but when I did go camping with my dad on that uh, canoe trip, I did bring this one along, and I had a ton of fun with it, breaking it in, playing on the water. So this one will probably be special to me because it'll remind me of the camping trip I went on with my dad. Hoping to play with it a little bit more, break it in some more and get that bevel really honed, but I haven't really touched it since. Well, no, I was jamming this for la last week while I was waiting for my new one to come in, but I'll probably break it out in a couple months. I'm going to move this bag down here because I'm getting losing room. So this is a, my, this is my first Chrome or Chrome, however you pronounce it, uh, Kendama. And it's actually a half split, um, the opposite way of the other one. So the it was really hard tracking. Uh, it came in the mystery box with this one. And I didn't really get around to playing it because it, it's one of Chrome's cheaper Kendamas. The paint's really not that well. Um, the cups are really small. But it is fun to mess around with like a Kendama that's not really up to the standard of like a Luzumaki or like a Kraft because it shows you what a lot of the guys before us started out with. So I might actually pick this up a little bit. I might string it up with a different Tama and it, and I might start trying to play it because it is it is nice to go back to like what Kendama really was when it was a lot more difficult now that we have the sticky paints and the bigger cups and all that. So I might go back to playing with this one a little, uh, a little not a little, what am I trying to say? I might go back to playing this one soon. There's so many in here. Oh, okay. So this is the new one that I just got. This is a Sweets uh, Craps. I think that's what it's called. Um, it's based off of a uh, casino game, which is really sick. Maple Ken Beach Thomas, so it's gonna break in really nice. Um, I've been having a ton of fun playing it. It's always nice getting a new Kendama because you kind of get a refresher and you kind of start learning a little bit more tricks. I think that's why I have so many because as soon as I break one in a little bit, I'm like, okay, I'm bored. So that's why I end up buying new ones. But I think this one's gonna be sick because I like that it's like the, the 
It's like a 70-30 basically with a little bit of a white tracking hole, but it's super sick. I love it. I love the Sweets' boo shape, and I'm probably going to be jamming this one a lot, so you're going to see a lot of clips with this one. I also just dropped a video on it before this video, so make sure you go check that out. I'll try and put it in the cards or in the description. <sighs> so this, I'm pretty sure I kept because I broke it in a lot. The Tom was really broken in. Um, I think it might be the uh, Cooper Eddie Serato with the Willie P spike because I think I broke my Serato when I got it. But this was the first uh, Kendama or Sweets Kendamas and the first real Kendama that I had. Um, I learned Gunslingers, I learned Ken Flips, I learned, like, it was just the beginning of my Kendama journey was because of this Kendama. Um, and I probably wouldn't be where I am today without Reed Stark, without buying this. So I think the reason I like this one too is because one of my friend Carter, um, he had, I don't know if it was this one that he had or if he had a different one, but he said, you know, get a Sweets one. They're, they're really good and stood by it. And I've been with Sweet, like, you can see most of the Kendamas up here are Sweets. I haven't done a lot of Kendama USA, but. <laughs> this is when I tried to start drilling balance holes, so this one's really tiny compared to the other ones. I think this was like a 5 8 bit or something like that, and all the other ones were like 3 8 But this can will always hold a special place with me, and I probably will never get rid of it because it was the first one, the real first one that I started with. The one I bought off Amazon that I don't have with me, I actually even my little cousins. But this was the, the first ma major um, Kendama that I bought from a company. Oh, okay, so this is this is one that I actually haven't played a lot. So I got this one, the the craft, and another one when I bought three of them at once. And I just, being I got so many, I guess I picked a favorite and kind of stuck to that. So this is a Konami Yusei shift shape fin. And I bought this just because I like the color of it. Um, the tracking was really nice. Um, I, it has a marking there that I don't, I still haven't figured out what it meant. It's some Japanese word, but it's a tacky paint. Um, I'm hopefully in my edit. I think I had like two tricks with this or something like that So I'm hoping to play with it more and try and break it in because if you can see the bevels hardly broken in at all But it is a Kazen it is a shift and I'm hoping that I can play with it more It's just when you have so many you have so many to choose from and right now I'm focusing on the craps because it's one of my new ones But I'm hoping I'm probably not gonna buy a new one for a while and try and cycle through the ones that I have and try and get them really honed in but this one's really cool love the colors of it running out of space in this table. Ah, my B. Lee mod. Now this is one that I used when I did my KG unboxing, which I didn't bring with me because it was massive. Um, but I use this to compare it to it. So this is the Bryson Lee 2016, I think, champ mod. Um, 976 was his score at uh, KWC, the Kendama World Cup. It's got a couple markings on the Ken. I just thought this one was really cool because of the tracking and I've broken this string a couple times. The spike is super worn down, but it has a really cool tracking to it with the, the red stripe and then the, the natty, so it was really easy for me to track. But it was this one. There were three that I bought. It was this one. Was it my Cooper Eddie mod? And then another one. I don't really remember, but this one's always been pretty cool. What? Blue. What one? This one? No, blue. This one? That. No. You got with that one? No. No? No. I got this one with, it was this one, this one, and then the stringless one, because it was a mystery box. I don't remember what ones I got this one with. Was it the, the one we said the mini one? No, I got that one when we were in Florida. Anyway, it's pretty cool Kendama. I broke it in a lot. I'm going to hopefully play it more. I've been saying that with all these because I really do want to break in all of them. Um, I'm running out of space. I think there's only one more left. Hmm? So this is my Nobu Nori um, Pro model. I don't really remember what the markings were. I know that there's a Japanese flag under the cup because he's from Japan and then there's praying hands, but I got this one just because I thought the Tama design was really, really cool with the waves. It has a ridiculously long string. It has almost like a seven finger string, which is ridiculous. Um, but I didn't get a chance to play this one as much as I had wanted to because I got this one. This one, the granite, and the fin all together, and I basically chose the granite as my favorite and then didn't end up playing as many of these. So I'm hoping I'm gonna get to a point where I put so many away and only play like one or two for a month, and then put those away, play only one or two for a month so I can kind of cycle between all the ones that I have so I can really break these all in because hardly any of them are broken in. The only really broken in ones is the Coop mod, the one I use for 28 Tricks Later, the Bryson Lee, and my Willie P mod. So all the other ones still can be broken in, but all around, um, Nobu is a really cool player. I can't get over how good he is, but 
That is all of them. There's nothing else left in this bag. I don't think so. Other than my keiju. You guys know my keiju. Um, wow. This is my Kendama collection as of the beginning of 2019. So what do I got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I thought I had 20, but I got 16. 17 if you don't count the mini one over there. But I'm, I'm hoping that I, ha I accumulate more over the 2020 year. But I'm hoping that I get more, but I'm also hoping that I play all of these ones more because I have so many that I haven't really touched. But that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The question. What? Which one are you going to try to break in first? Oh, I don't know. I want to, this one, because this is a new one that I got. Karina's also behind me if you guys didn't catch that, but probably that one. But I'm probably going to get to a point where I don't want to break it in anymore. I don't know. I don't like tacky paint. That's the main issue. Like, tacky paint gets broken in and then it's just it's doo doo. What's your favorite one? This one. Because it's a new one. Crabs. No, like, besides your newest one, what is your favorite kendama? The one that you'll always, like, that's the easiest to play. Can I pick two? Pick two and then we'll narrow it down. So probably this one, because this was the first one I started with, and this one, because these were the two that I... This is the first one that I started with, and this is the one I used for 28 Tricks Leader, which I really progressed myself with. I played the shit out of this one, you can tell, because the Tom is so broken in, and this was the one that taught me all of my tricks. Now, I can't choose a favorite between these two. What is your favorite one, depending on the feel? Probably this one, because it's cushion clear rather than sticky clear. No, out of your whole entire collection, what's your favorite one to feel? Like, what's... The one that you feel like you got the most tricks with that, are, that was easier than the rest. Probably the reed mod. Because with the Ken Burns that it has around the big cups, and like I learned stalls with it because it was way easier. I learned like bird over the valley. No, I learned bird over the valleys with this one. But I learned how to do handle stalls with this and handle stalls flip to spikes and stuff because the burn lines and also the Tama breaking in really nice helped with stall tricks. So probably this one. I know that I can land almost every single trick with this one just because I honed this in for so long. Oh, and that's where the video ends. Because the light's burnt out. <laughs> Are they gonna turn back on so I can at least finish? Okay, I have like a couple minutes with only one light. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was really cool for me to do this. I probably gotta go get food, but I'm stoked that I did this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think I have a Jeep video coming next. I have something in store. My parents don't know yet. It's gonna be sick. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys liked the last video about me unboxing this one and breaking this one in and getting a couple of tricks with it. But that's all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. I can't touch the camera from here, so. Ready? Boot. That's fine. Okay, wait, one more time. Wait, wait, I wanna do this. <laughs> There's so many. I'm in a, a field of kendamas. This one's the perfect size for me. <laughs> Ready? Ready? Sweet. So...